Mighty Mighty Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is your reading for November 1st through the 15th. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Your rising sign may provide more clarity during times of new moon or eclipses. It may resonate with you more. Okay, Pisces, when I was meditating on your situation, I was actually feeling um, the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you're looking for more stability in your life. I feel like maybe this is a time when you should really take a look at your finances and make changes if you need to. Okay, in your energy, you have the hangman and the seven of wands. Oh. Of course, all kinds of, and it always happens with Pisces. All the cards just want to fly all over the floor. Yes. I pick those up. It didn't happen all day, and then as soon as I do your reading prices, it happens with you. Okay, in your past position, you have the Knight of Swords. Okay, what is your crowning energy? What is your crowning energy, please? You have the high priestess. Okay, so you're showing up in this reading, Pisces. The high priestess is your card. Okay, and your foundations. You have the three of pentacles. And in your near future, you have the star. The star is your card as well, so you're really showing up. And it makes sense, Pisces, because Pisces is, is normally a very intuitive soul. So, yeah, I'm, it's not uncommon that you wouldn't show up on your reading. You normally do. Okay, and you... You're actually the sun. Okay, you're coming forward as the sun. And your environment is temperance. A lot of major arcana in here, okay? Your hopes and desires. What are your hopes and desires at the moment? <laughs> the fool, of course. And what is the outcome? What is the outcome for Pisces? What is the outcome for Pisces? Okay, your outcome is the King of Pentacles. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck you have the Six of Swords. Yeah, so Pisces. Really good reading so far, wow, okay. Um, you are currently in hangman mode. And uh, this might have put you in this situation because of the Seven of Wands. So I feel like you're protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself from energies. Um, you're kind of sacrificing your time so that you can gain wisdom on the situation. But I, I feel like you are definitely protecting yourself. You're protecting your energies at this moment. And that may be due to this um, energy that you received in the in the near past, which is the Knight of Swords. So this Knight of Swords might have delivered some information to you. Um, some actions might have been taken towards you that have left you feeling kind of, um, I want to say starstruck, but that, that's not really the wording I want to use. Um, I think that it has left you feeling kind of changed. This may be a change that you went through um, in the near past that you feel like you need to protect yourself due to the situation. So 
yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that this may be something that has kind of caught you off guard. Um, yeah, because you have the, the Two of Pentacles on the bottom as well. So this might have been something that has kind of left you off balance. So you're trying to regroup and get your energy back from that. Um, on your foundations, you have the Three of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like uh, you're expanding through your situation. You are, if you're not collaborating with other people, I feel like you are supported. Um, in your crowning energy, you have the high priestess. This is you and your abilities. This is very intuitive. I believe that you're fully trusting yourself. You're following your intuition. You are building yourself up. You may have, um, this is you saying that you hold all the secrets, I think. You also have the star in the situation. So I feel like whatever you're going through right now, in the near future, it's brought you a lot of clarity, a lot of hope, a lot of um, things that are being manifested in your life. I believe that th this is in true Pisces fashion. You wish upon a star and your wish is granted because you do have the sun in, in as you right now. So, yet yeah, this is your energy. You are the sun. So... This is how you see yourself. You, you are happy. You are content. You're full of hope. You are ready for the future, I believe. So, yeah, you have very bright changes coming forward, Pisces, and it's true Pisces fashion. Uh, in your environment, you have the temperance, which you're feeling balanced. You are creating something new in your life you are in control of the things that you can control that's what i want to say you have all the abilities to take things to the next level and you see that with the fool you have the fool in your hopes and desires position so this is the energy that you're desiring right now. You're desiring a fresh start. You're desiring a new beginning. And these changes are already coming into fruition because in true Pisces fashion, you're following your intuition. And now I believe that this these changes are going to bring you great prosperity and stability. These changes are going to bring a lot of abundance into your life. They are going to they are going to bring solid investments, solid um, changes that are going to bring a lot of prosperity. That's what I'm feeling for you, Pisces. And yeah, you have the 10 of cups in your present position as well. So yeah, I, I believe that this is going to be a time for a true happiness, contentment. This is going to be something that is going to be very fulfilling for you. I really don't feel like I need to clarify too much in this reading because this reading is pretty straightforward, but we'll go ahead and clarify some. Okay. And the Knight of Swords, I feel like, um, what, happened in the past you kind of had to work for it you've been working hard you've been um, making the changes you've been doing the sacrificial things that you need to do um, I'm kind of getting hangman vibes which you do have the hangman in the middle so you've been putting in the work now with the three of Pentacles you have the two of Pentacles so I feel like you are finding balance. You are setting your priorities and kind of working through those one by one. 
And I, I think that that's a very focused way of doing things. So I think that you're finding a lot of balance doing that. Now with the high priestess, you have the high priestess. So yeah, that is the universe letting you know, yes, follow your intuition. Uh, you have discovered the secrets and the mysteries to the universe that you are on the right track, Pisces. You have the high priestess clarified by the high priestess. I love that for you. And that's true Pisces. That's true Pisces fashion. Okay, with the star, we have the seven of wands. So yeah, I believe that you should stand up for what you believe. Stand on your beliefs. Uh, protect those. You're doing right by protecting those. Um, you are the star Pisces. Miracles tend to happen when Pisces is in the room. So, yeah, with the, with the sun, we have the temperance again. So, yeah, I believe that this is going to bring you a lot of hope, a lot of renewal. Um... With the temperance, you have the hangman. So I think that you're finding a lot of wisdom at this time. Um, you're not afraid to look at a different perspective of the situation. That's the reason why Pisces are as su successful as they are. They're not afraid to look at a different perspective. And with the fool, you have the five of cups. So I feel like this new beginning, this risk, is definitely going to be a risk that is actually um, not as disappointing as it may seem, is what I want to say. And with the King of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. So this is a very creative time for you. You also have the King of Wands on the bottom. So this may be your King of Pentacles looking for his queen, or this could be new creative ideas coming forth in true Pisces fashion. Um, so either way, I think if, if, if new love is coming your way, I think it's going to be very prosperous. I think um, Pisces is, is always looking for someone who's very creative, very self-assured just as they are, because Pisces is very self-aware of everything about them. Um, they're a leader. They're very powerful. They're charming as well. So I think that a Queen of Wands is a very good counterpart to a Pisces. Okay, let's get some angel cards to end this reading. This is a very good reading. I love this for you, Pisces. Okay. Wish upon a star. Yeah, there you are coming out again, Pisces. You're the star. And yeah, make your wishes. Your wishes are bound to come true. Body and soul. Make sure to take care of yourself at this time too, Pisces. Don't neglect um, your healing or your, your spiritual activities don't neglect those and take take advantage of taking care of your body and soul as well and you also have the divine matrix number 44 so yeah that that is wheel of fortune vibes and at the bottom of the deck you have quieting the mind so yeah meditation um, may be something that you want to do at this time to meditate on your energies and um, meditate on your intentions, what you want to get out of the situation. But with your intuitive nature, Pisces, I feel like meditation will actually bring you a lot of insight and wisdom at this time.
Okay, let's get some angel cards. Let's see what the angels want to tell Pisces at this moment. Let's see what the angels want to tell Pisces. What do the angels want to say to Pisces? Okay, you have Zana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Okay, Pisces, so you have divine protection at this time. You have your angels watching over you, protecting you from harm. So that's a wonderful thing. Okay, you also have Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to accepting divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven, heaven's help. So something that you ask the divine for um, is actually coming. The divine is actually providing you with the help that you ask for. That's beautiful energy. You have protection and help. Okay, and you have Sonia. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy and at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Beautiful energy. At the bottom, you also have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Okay, Pisces. That is your reading for January 1st to the 15th. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And make sure to look at your other placements. Your sun, moon, and rising for any other messages that Spirit wants to let you know. And thank you for joining me, Pisces. Many blessings to you. Love and light.